Alright, here we are playing Rusted Seaside by a random man and yeah, I booted this up and I experimented a little bit around with these power-ups here and I picked Mega Man here and yeah, seemingly there was no difference after I picked it up. Um, so I assume it's the same with Proto Man here. I guess it's just if you want a harder version and you don't want any weapons. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just go with this here. Yeah, because I would like to have some weapons because it makes it more fun. And yeah. And yeah, notice here we have the text editing going on here in the tiles. Uh, it kind of folds itself a little bit there. It looks quite nice. Hmm. Once again, I like when people do a little bit of text editing with the tiles. It makes makes it look fresh and new and all of that good stuff. Makes it interesting to look at. Yeah, so like same here, uh, as you can see. Um, how the tile, you know, how the single tiles say here keeps repeating themselves. Yeah. Hmm. Very interesting. It looks like something you would see, you know, occasionally in the in the original games, like when they just put, you know, the same repeating blocks. I don't know if that makes any sense, but yeah, it, it looks cool. It looks cool. Or I should say, I hope what I'm saying makes sense, but yeah. Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> Let's just leave that. And yeah, I'm getting hit <laughs> an awful lot here by these guys. I need to try and be a little bit more careful. Then again, they did only two damage, so I guess it's not a very big deal, but still. And yeah, the concrete shot really... <laughs> it just wrecks everything. Okay, yeah, you can't hit the stuff, you need to actually get them. Can you... I wonder if you can kill these while they are... No, okay. You can't hurt them while they're in their armor. Okay, okay. Just wanted to try. I haven't been experimenting very much with, with the concrete shot, to be honest. So, yeah, I don't fully know its properties there. And I would like some more energy, so... I will just... Set here and pick it up. There is uh, some scenery change here, and hmm, you know what? This is serious why the concrete shot is here to make some of this a little bit easier to deal with. Hmm. Nice. Well, the crash pops are very interesting against those. Uh, it doesn't push them back, which isn't very good, but... Yeah, it deals massive damage, so... Yeah. Hmm. Can we... Very nice. Uh, yeah, we want the concrete. Oh, I just realized something. These guys will... With everything a flame here, which is a bit scary. No, oh, I really, I really could have used that. Dang it. Oh, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> that works, I guess. Yeah, the shield iris works very weirdly with the crash bombs, like, yeah. Shoot them in the front and they'll just carry it and usually they'll get killed by it as you just saw, but uh, they definitely can survive it when they carry it away. They definitely can. <sighs> oh my! <laughs> How the hell did I avoid damage there? Taking damage, I mean. Whoa, okay. Well... Oh. Yeah, this, uh, this stretch here has been very long, you uh, know. I'm about to die from health issues here. Well, now I'm looking pretty good on the ammo end of things here. And yeah, finally we got a checkpoint. That was a pretty lengthy stretch there. Definitely made it a bit more interesting, I'll definitely say that.
you have to be very careful. I mean, look how, look how quickly you get out of the sand when there is water present. And you definitely have to be very, very here with how you pull out the jumps in the sand. Ooh. Yeah, how do I do this? Do I just... I guess I just... Yeah, just slide. I assume I die if you sink through the sand there. And this... Yeah, look... This is how you should have done that. Just sit down there and use the crash bombs. That's yeah, another very neat usage of the crash bombs there. Yeah, here we're just gonna refill and very nice. Here we can just. Once again, extend, go. Yes! Wow, dude! I was not sure I would pull that one off. <laughs> that was kind of clutch, and it appears to have a, yeah, a secret here. Very cool. Hmm. Very cool indeed. Yeah, that time he survived it. Bastard. <laughs> okay, let's just. Yeah, see, this here is an issue with these guys, or an issue, but something I've noticed, like. When they are sitting behind like that, they can't walk past the point where you put them down. I wish, I wish they would change that so that they could charge all the way up to the uh, edge here. I think that would have been a cooler, or well, I think that would work better. But that's just me, though. That is just me. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was definitely my bad. I did not think. I just watched the room layout and I just stood there. Okay, we're back here and I'm trying to get in here again, but oh, I'm failing at it. So I guess we're just gonna... Oh my god, I thought I was dead. Ugh. Phew, well luckily I survived that and actually I could have needed that free one up there. Hmm. Well, am I screwed here? I think we gotta reset it. The concrete, but well, I'm not sure. Can the concrete put a... How did that get a flame in the first? Yeah, how did that get set? I'm very confused. How? How was that set ablaze? I need to watch out for that when I edit the video and <laughs> see what the hell happened there and why did I do that? I almost, almost killed myself. Yeah, this is it. Gotta go fast, okay. Ooh, okay, well, very cool room here, but very deadly. It's easy to mess up there if you're not careful. Uh, oh, well... <laughs> oh no, another one of these. Okay, well, it's no problem. No problem. We can just... We could just kill him with the crash bomb, but let's try and do it like that. Yeah. The <laughs> the big boy route. And a checkpoint. Very nice. Very, very nice. And this stage is very long. <laughs> Jeez, this must be a 50 screen stage at least. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, the, diff the difficulty. The difficulty is ramping up here. Still, <laughs> it still is. We'll probably have even more of those nasty oil jumps up ahead here. I can only imagine. And yeah, now we see these again. They kind of disappear there for a while. The methods. Well, this might be the end of the stage, though. Hmm. That was a little bit weird. Like the last stretch, there was like five or six screens. It felt a little bit weird. Um, yeah. 
whatever. It was very short and very easy compared to the second to the final segment there. Or checkpoint, you know. Well, I have definitely <laughs> made a few things like that myself in the past, I know that for sure. Well, I remember like when I started out building Mega Man Maker, like the checkpoint placement sometimes like in one of my stages, like the first checkpoint, like from the starter screen to the first checkpoint would be like four screens. Then the second one would be like seven or eight screens. And then the final one would be like 14 screens. Like it's just, it was just all over the place. Uh, and sometimes, you know, I could start out, you know, with 10 screens on the first checkpoint and then like five screens on the next one, you know, uh, no consistency at all. Um, yeah. I think this, I'm not saying this stage is a bad consistency, uh, aside from perhaps that last checkpoint there we felt a little bit, a little bit easy and a little bit short, but yeah. Still, there definitely has been a very nice difficulty curve here and a lot of interesting rooms to tackle, so yeah. A very interesting stage to play. I'm honestly kind of surprised that it doesn't have more than 17 or 16 uploads there. Yeah, very cool stage overall. Then again, it's random, man, so you know, you kind of expect... You kind of expect the stages to be good. <laughs> okay, yeah, 14 up as uh, see, I think that it at least should be... Well, I don't know a, an exact amount of upvotes, but yeah, definitely many more than that, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> in my own opinion. Well... Either way, very very nice stage, um, aside from that, that it felt a little bit weird at the very end, like the final checkpoint only had like four, no, no five or six screens or so, um, all the other segments, you know, uh, felt roughly the same length and yeah, there definitely was a nice and steady upgoing difficulty curve, especially those oil jumps there in the second to last checkpoint stretch. Uh, we had some very tricky jumps in there that was exciting to pull off, yeah. Very neat stuff there, random man. 20xx. Uh, we'll continue to play more stages from here in the future since they are interesting, so yeah. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.